This is the first of several lessons that consider location services and MIT App Inventor applications. Since all phones have GPS sensors, we will focus on those, although in principle, wireless networks can be used too. In this introductory lesson, we will show the basics that include the detection of the current location using the location sensor, express it through its latitude and longitude, and mark it on a map. In addition, we will display the address associated with that location. First, let's organize everything in the designer space. Before discussing it, we'll see how everything is built, played at three times the speed to save time. So we added a 2x2 two two table layout first, in which the labels for latitude and longitude are positioned above the corresponding text fields for displaying these values. Then, a map from the maps palette is pulled in below the table, and a single marker is placed on the map. Note that the map display is initially preset to some default location. At the end, Another label for the address is placed below the map with the text box for displaying the address at the very bottom. Aside from these visible components, we also added the most important component, the location sensor from the sensors palette. Next, we will quickly build the blocks that would execute our desired location detection. Again, to save time, this segment is played at three times the First, as we do not want to show the default map that has nothing to do with our location, we're setting the map to be invisible on the screen initialization. Next, in the main sequence, we use the prompt for when the location sensor detects a change in location. This includes either the first fetched location by a GPS or any detected change of location over time. By the way, our phone's GPS sensor always takes into account signals from multiple satellites when determining location. When the new location is registered, we want to take the current latitude and longitude and display them in their text boxes. Also, the location sensor provides the address associated with that location, which we also display in its text box. Once done with these, we want to make the map visible and to center it about its latitude and longitude and also set the zoom. In this case, we set it to 15, although you can zoom in or out depending on your preference. Finally, we want to position the marker at the current location on the map. Now we can demonstrate how this all works on the mirrored phone screen. So, see when the app is started, uh, we have the initialized screen, the map is made invisible, right? We have the 
labors for the latitude, longitude, and uh, as soon as the GPS obtains a uh, proper signal, the latitude and longitude are collected, displayed, the map displays the correct area, the marker as well is located right at our current location, as well as the current location address is displayed here below. So don't forget, since the location sensor updates as you move around, this app will practically track you as you move, both in these values for latitude, longitude, and the position on the map. So this would be all for this intro lesson. In the follow-up lessons, we will use our knowledge of a location and show several applications that use the location services. Until then, bye.